I just want to thank you guys so much for coming out today. You have to forgive me for being a little hoarse. It's been uh, two weeks of raising hell across America. Go no Cash! Uh, I don't like what we're doing. They don't like me. They don't like my message. They don't like how I'm doing it. I don't give a damn about what they like or what they don't like. What I care about is you. I care about my country. I care about our freedom. I've had to say this several times over, and let me reiterate it again. I, myself, as Cass Jackson, do not fight for father's rights. I fight for human rights. That's right. I fight for the Constitution. Yeah! I fight for you and your children, myself and my children, and against tyranny. When a judge can look me in the eye as a service member, when he can look me in the eye and tell me he's going to punish me, expressing my First Amendment right that my brothers and sisters died for. It was then and there that I I knew it was time to draw a line in the sand. Yeah! That was it. You guys today, I'm proud of you. Because every single one of you drew your own line in the sand. We are all but a, we are a minority standing here today. Yep. But in this country, we know from the numbers that we are a majority. Yeah. Yes. We know and understand that. Far too long they have kept us separated. They have driven a wedge to say that this is a war of moms versus dads. No. No, no longer will that be our cause. No. This isn't the father's rights movement or the mother's rights movement. Woo! Woo! Amen. It's the Americans. And it's our movement. Yeah! As men and women of this country, we will take back our freedoms. No, they will no longer deny us of our personal God-given rights to parent and raise our children unimpeded by the state. Yeah! Yes, sir. They will no longer profit off the destruction of your family. Right. No more. I knew, I knew when I started this journey on 1 September, there's a good possibility I may stand here by myself today. I knew that. Because I know what the system does to you. I know how it scares you. They intimidate you. They bully you. They've already broken you down financially, mentally, emotionally. Yeah. They've stolen everything from you. Yep. Everything that makes up what it means to be an American yep. and to be free in this country. Yep. I'm telling you right here, right now, whatever I got to do and whatever it will take, we will unite as Americans under one banner, as Americans, for parental equality, yeah. Yeah. we yeah. will unite under that banner, and we will fight for our human rights. Yes. Yeah. So today we're going to march. We will march from monument to monument. Yes. We will let the Capitol, we will let Washington, D.C., the legislators, and the commander-in-chief know yeah. that no longer will we tolerate no destroying our One thing that I want to say is that in light of this day on September the 11th, where we lost the lives of 2,900 of, of our fellow Americans, underneath that of uh, foreign terrorism, in light of that day and remembrance of them, there's one person that I would like to lead this to lead this march, and it's not myself. Where's my? There he is, right there, Mr. Gilligan. He's going to lead my march. <laughs> we will lead this march. Y -P -D. And thank God, you know what? I want to thank God so much for some clouds and some wind today. <laughs> I could have cooked several chickens in this uniform. Uh, <laughs> if you guys don't mind, if it's, if it's okay with you, I'd like to say a prayer. Amen. Father God in heaven, we just come before you today as humble servants. Lord God, you know that all of us have struggled and we continue to struggle. But we also know, Lord God, that you place nothing before us that we cannot handle. Many of us, God, have lost our faith in you. We've lost our faith in our fellow man. We ask, God, that you would strengthen our hearts, strengthen our minds, and renew our souls. We 
renew our spirits. Lord God, we ask that you would place yourselves in the heart of the legislators and of our president to recognize the suffering that the American people are under. Father God, give, give me the strength, give my family the strength, give these men, women, and children the strength to endure this fight that we know is going to be long and arduous. We love you, Lord God. We pray for our safety today, and that you watch over us and bless this time together. We ask these things in your son Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Yes. You want to just tell us what we're about to do now? Yeah, so, yeah, this is uh, Cash Jackson on the Restoring Freedom 2016 campaign. Right now I'm joined right here in front of the Capitol with men and, men and women Americans from all across this country who are here to fight for their God-given constitutional rights to raise their families unimpeded by the state. The state will no longer profit off the destruction of our families and the federal government will no longer provide that incentive to those states. So we're here to take a stand for our families and for our rights. Yeah. You guys ready to go? Yeah! Oh uh, no, are you ready to go? Yeah! Let's go, where's Big Mike Gallagher? Get up here! Big Mike! Big Mike. Get out over here! Okay. You sure you were in the Marine? I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, he was oh. a drill instructor. Oh. Now he may have been a SEAL, who knows? <laughs> I should have been a Marine. You can't get that on the record. You can't get that on the record. That's okay. Hey, that's on. Uh, hey, guys, before you step off, let's get some pictures. Watch your, watch your cone. Good, how are you doing? Good.